Has a traumatic brain injury impacted your ability to comprehend what you're reading? A brain injury can impact your reading ability in several ways. First of all, it makes it hard to scan your eyes across the page. It makes it hard to remember what you just read in the sentence or paragraph before. And it makes it challenging also for the brain to comprehend the message that the eyes are giving it. Today I want to bring to you something I discovered in a chance encounter with a reading specialist at a local school and it turns out this has been one of my most graceful, inexpensive, easiest fixes along this road. I'm sharing this with you today in hopes that it makes your ability to comprehend what you're reading so much easier and gives you the quality of life when back. When the waves came and when the storm raged, found myself falling into the ground. When the wind blew, that's when it fell through, and I don't know how to turn it around. I know there's more to me than the record you see. There's more to be. I'm still on the journey. I'm excited too because it looks as though this is really going to be a good thing for Natalie and I'm so glad we were able to connect. Erlen Syndrome is a project that has been worked on by Helen Erlen uh, in California since the 80s. She was working with adults with reading problems and um, discovered that colored overlays were extremely helpful in many of these problems. As, her, as Helen likes to say, it's a piece of the puzzle. It isn't always the only answer for reading disorders and reading problems or for the type of problem that Natalie is having. So Erlen syndrome is a visual perception disorder, not usually picked up by a regular eye exam. It has to do with the way the brain processes light. And it seems that for many of us, uh, including me and including Natalie. Uh, light can be very disturbing and very uncomfortable. What we do with Erlen syndrome is we test with the colored overlays and there are 10 of those colors and we're looking for an overlay that will make reading especially more comfortable, that will take away some of the distortions that many people see and if Erlen syndrome is present to a more severe degree, uh, then the recommendation is for the use of colored filters, colored glasses uh, of various tints, but commonly referred to as filters. These are examples of Erlen overlay colors that we use. Um, these are specially designed, going out and buying a colored see-through notebook cover or report cover is not the answer. These are very special. So one has to be quite careful about that and uh, it's best to be uh, screened by a certified Erlen screener. In the case of the filters, the eyeglasses, you're going to need a certified Erlen diagnostician. And where would you find And those? all of that information is available on the Erlen site on the internet. So that would be www.erlen.com. Very interesting site. Lots and lots of information on there. Today we tested Natalie with all these colors and she has found two that are extremely helpful. So we'll show you how we did that. These are some of the distortions that have been documented that some folks see when they are attempting to read. So it's easy to understand how difficult this makes the reading process. That's kind of what I saw. And of course, lenses. when someone sees this, particularly a child learning to read, they have no idea that everyone else isn't seeing the same thing. This has to do with field of vision. We all have different fields of vision. This is where someone sees something clearly right in the very center, but the rest of it has a swirling motion, which as you might imagine, can make you very uncomfortable. This is uh, just a blurry, like a bad copy. Yeah, the halo is the one shadow. that I have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It's like an extra shadow of each letter. And this is called rivers. 
Uh, when we look at single space copy, if we're careful, we can imagine white rivers coming down among the words, but in this case, this is more pronounced. The rivers are wider. Some people even see letters moving into the white spaces from either side, and that can be very uncomfortable. This is called washout. Uh, this is where you might see clear black printing on white and it gradually fades sometimes to brown then gray and on occasion the white actually takes over and I've worked with children who have had this problem. What I need to see now is what is more comfortable for you to look at, what, what you would be more comfortable reading with, the black print on white or with this colored overlay over the top. Do you see any difference? It's such a huge difference Oh my God, I feel like I can read again. The white is so bright and the words are jumping all over the place. Some really? of them look double and some of them look slurred. And when I put the pink sheet on, my whole body just says, ah, oh, it's like calm oh. and relaxed and I can see it and I can read it without feeling like it's really stressing me out to do that. So. This is really exciting. Could it be we found the right color right off the bat? It could be the amazing <laughs> color. Well, let's go a little what further a difference. and we'll see. Good. Let's compare. Okay. okay. Nope, the green doesn't do it. All right, we will set that aside. No. Uh, it's better than the white, but it doesn't give me that same wonderfully relaxed, easy feeling that the peach does. That's actually not bad either. We'll put that one aside for now. Yeah. I can't believe how horrible the white looks after you take the color <laughs> off. It just makes me... It, it's, okay. That's, that's, that's good, but I think it's too dark. Too dark. All right. Definitely better than the white, but not as good as the peach. Okay. How about this one? I like the peach better, but that's pretty good too. All right. Well, yeah. we'll set that one over there. Okay. No, not at all. No, not at all. No. So not the one. That one's good. I like That's that one. Good. Is that as good as the peach? It is as good as the peach. All right. Yeah. I think we found two really good ones. Your answer. This is going to make such a big difference in my ability to read and understand what I'm reading and not have words bouncing all over the page. And what a simple, beautiful method this is. It's inexpensive and it's simple and it's accessible. And I'm really excited about this. So thank you so much, Carolyn. I'm so excited. I just got my Erlen glasses. And I have been waiting and waiting for these because I feel like they're going to make such a big difference with my ability to function in the world and have things stop bouncing around and um, hopefully allow me to drive again. So here we go. Pretty good.